book of Isaiah chapter 40 starting from verse 1 It says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your power. It says, Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is referring to the Israelites. Jerusalem was people before it became a place. It says, And cry unto her. that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she have received of the Lord's Yahweh's hand double for all her sins. The Lord is speaking to Israel. Your warfare is accomplished. Eh? And here we are, we are about to go home. It says, speak comfortably to my people. Family, roughly paraphrasing. Eh? Let them know that their warfare is accomplished. We are done. The captivity is over. The king is coming in his glory to redeem his elect. Family, I would like to get into a quick exaltation. Eh? Through the spirit. And family, I hope when it's all said and done, you are edified and you are comforted by this word yes the word that I speak to you their spirit family that's what Yahweh Shai says and we thank the Lord Yahweh our heavenly father the power of our forefathers starting from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob his name is Yahweh and his only begotten son our redeemer our savior the only begotten of our power Yahweh he is known as the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, our Redeemer, yeah, our Deliverer, Yahweh Shai. This is all about him, family. This is uh, yes, yeah, family. It's all about the king receiving his kingdom because he did what he had to do. He came down. Walk among us, taught in the synagogue, healed the sick, eh? raised the dead, made the blind see, fed the multitude. He did it all. And then in addition to everything that he did for us, he went on the cross, eh? took upon our sins. He was perfect family, but he took upon our sins. And now he is sitting in the right hand of our power, Yahweh, his father, yes, Yahweh. And he's waiting to get a go ahead and come and redeem his elect. And he is coming in the so-called UFO. Those are the Lord's chariots. Those are the chariots of Israel. That's right. We are not afraid. Family, when we see those chariots, we are, uh, we are excited. That's right. But Esau, the Edomites, the so-called white man is losing his mind. But family... We, when we see those chariot family, we are comforted. And that's how the Lord is coming to redeem his elect. That's right. We are living, get, family, the Lord is about to glorify. Family, I don't want this thing to be long. Just a quick exhortation. Hmm? It's a time that we are living in. Yeah, the gloom and doom, it can all be about the gloom and doom. We welcome the gloom and doom. Because why? In order for the king to come, we, there has to be a gloom and doom. Jacob's trouble. But also we want to know, we want you to know that, yes, we are winning. The victory is already written for us. Oh, yes, the victory is written for us already. Family, the movie was rigged for us to win. That's the, how much the Lord loves us. Yes, he punished us, gave us into the hands of these nations to serve them. But family, he did it for a reason. Yes, he did it for a reason. We need to know wickedness to appreciate righteousness, family. Yes, and we went off. Yes, family, that's how it was rigged. Yes, he gave us the statutes and commandments and he, we couldn't keep it. And family, that's all part of the movie. But here now we get, now we have understanding. We know that family, it had to happen. It has to happen. It did happen and family, we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for it. Yes, we thank the Lord. We don't deserve his mercies. But family, but family, he chose us. He chose us. He says, we are the apple of his eyes. And we are indeed blessed. And we are thankful 
for this mercy. He didn't show this mercy to any other nation, but he gave it to Israel. That alone, honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. Family, it's your brother Malak coming to you once again. As, and to you, the hopefully elect, the so-called Latino, the so-called Blacks, Native Americans, whatever name the oppressor place on us. Family, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Yes, we are the Hebrew Israelites. And family, let's get into it. We're going to read the book of Baruch. Like I said, I don't want this thing to be too long. Yes, I was just meditating on Baruch all day yesterday. And, you know, just going back and forth. And uh, it was very, very comforting. You know, you can find the book of Baruch. Baruch uh, chapter is only a few chapters. You know, I think it's only till five, chapter four, 5, you know. And um, yeah, chapter 5, we're going to read chapter 5. And then I have a few other precepts that we're going to link with uh, Baruch 5. And then family, we're going to call it. Now, these are the times that we are living in. Yes. Sometimes your spirit is down. Family, we're still living in this flesh. We live in this flesh day in, day out. We have our own things that we deal with in the flesh. But we pray that the Lord will have mercy on us. You know, we have mercy on us. And forgive us and can uh, forgive us our sins, you know, continue to cleanse us. Yes. But here we are. These are the words that comfort us, family. Let's get the book of Baruch. Let's get into it. Baruch chapter 5, starting from verse 1. It says, Put off, O Jerusalem, the garment of mourning and affliction, and put on the comeliness of the glory that cometh from the Most High forever. The garment of mourning, all the hardship that we've gone through, eh? the fact that nobody, nobody come to, you know, fight for us. Nobody asks us how we're doing. Eh? The fact that we are stuck in the ghettos, eh? the shanty towns, eh? Eh? our communities are rigged with drug dealers and eh? gang bangers. You know, people can have peace. You know, we are stricken with all type of diseases, high blood pressure, eh? lack of sleep, diabetes, liver diseases, cancer, you name it, family. Over, you know, obesity in our communities. The butt of every joke among these nations. A reproach to these nations, the Lord is telling you. It says, put on the comeliness of glory that cometh from the Lord forever. This is what is coming for the elect. It says, forget about everything that you've gone through. The heartache, the pain. Eh? All the affliction the Lord brought upon us. The fact that we've served this nation and the fact that we saw our young men being killed left, right and center. Yes, this is what the Lord, these are the curses in Deuteronomy 28. This is what the Lord brought upon us. But the Lord says, take it off. He says, take it off. Now put on the garment of communists. This is the garment that we have, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. This is what we are putting on. And this is what is comforting us in the time that we are living in, in the time that is coming. The word of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Those are the words that's going to comfort us. He says, Cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness which cometh from the Most High, and set a diadem on thine head of the glory of the everlasting. A diadem. Let's look that up in the. In the etymol, etymol online here. This is a diadem. Family, listen to this. It says, a crown, anything worn on the head as a mark of royalty. That's how the Lord is about to glorify you. You listen to this? It says here, a crown, anything worn on the head as a mark of royalty from the old French diadem and directly from Latin diadema. Cloth band worn around the head as a sign of royalty. What did the Lord say? Men are going to be kings and priests and women. Oh, 
are going to be the envy of the nations. This is what is coming. That's what the Lord says. This is what the Lord is saying you should put on. It says, cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness which cometh from the Most High, and set a diadem on thine head of the glory of the everlasting. That's royalty, family. It says, for the Most High will show thy brightness unto every country. Are you listening to this? Thy brightness, the glory. It says, for the Most High will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven. Hmm? The nations are going to see us, family. The nation of Israel is going to be above all nations. That's what the Lord is saying. Let me repeat that again. Baruch chapter 5 verse 3 says, For the Most High will show thy brightness. Let's look up that word brightness. I mean, it's nice to just get the, the meat eh, of the bone. That's a brightness. Be right, yeah, brightness. Okay, here. Let's look that up. Bright. It says what? Radiating or reflecting light. Eh? Old English bright. Metha, metha thesis of. Whoa. Burrit. Bright, splendid, clear sounding, beautiful, divine from Proto Germani. Eh? Word forming element, denoting action, quality, or state. Family, <laughs> Man, what the Lord is about to do to you, to for us. We, it says, Eyes have not seen, or ears have not heard what the Lord is about to uh, do. Uh, what's it? Eyes have not seen, or uh, sorry, family, shoot. <laughs> Let's get it. It says, eyes have not seen or ears have not heard. Is it eyes have not seen? Eyes have, have not seen. Is it Romans? Oh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 9. It says here, But as it is written, I have not seen. I, his family, <laughs> this is that's why it says, The just shall live by faith. Eh? It says here, I, but as it is written, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of the man the things which the Most High have prepared. Family, have prepared for them that love them. Family, that's for the elect. <laughs> family, that's what is coming. We haven't seen yet, but we believe, family. That's the thing. That's why it says, the just shall live by faith. But here, let's read this. So here, for thy name, listen, let's repeat verse 3. Baruch chapter 5 verse 3 says, For the Most High will show thy brightness eh, unto every country under the heaven. For thy name, thy name shall be called of the Most High forever. The peace of righteousness and the glory of the Most High's worship. Listen to this. It says, Arise, O Jerusalem, speaking for the, to, to the elect, and stand on high and look about towards the east. Hmm? Behold, thy children, thy children, the elect spread across the four corners of the world. Listen to this. This is for you. The elect spread across the four corners of the world. The Lord says, verse 5 says, Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high and look about towards the east. And behold, thy children gather from the west hmm? unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in remembrance of the Most High. Family, the word is, uh, is, is, is doing phenomenally. People are waking up to their heritage, the elect family in Israel. The word is gathering as family. We are about to go home. That's why you see the prophecies are jumping off the pages. This nation can't get, family, they can't, they can't wait to get this third world war popping. Family, two more prophecies and we are out of this place. The M-A-R-K, under your skin, Revelation 13, 16, which is not for us. And the Third World War. And family, we are going home. Going back to the East, Jerusalem. Family, oh, it says here. Actually, you know what? Though? Let's, let's go to, let's hit Zephaniah. We'll come back here. We'll finish this. But let's go to Zephaniah quickly. Let's, 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 let's precept that. Zephaniah chapter 3. 
Zephaniah 3. Let's pick it up from verse 18 and 19. It says here. It says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Who are, who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. The Lord knows that he put some weapon on us. Yes, he knows that we went through some hard captivity. This is what the Lord is saying. The solemn assembly is what? The marriage supper of the groom. We are the bride of Yahweh Shai. Family, we don't want to miss that. That VIP event family, we are hoping that we will get a ticket for it. That's why, family, we call ourselves the hopeful elect. We don't want to miss that supper, family. That solemn assembly. Family says here, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. But here, behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise. Listen to this. I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Family, I want to look up the word fame. Let's look up the word fame. Hmm? Fame. Here, character attributed to someone late. It says celebrity, a renowned Fame, fame, reputation, renown, rumor, talk, rumor, report, reputation, public opinion. Family, the Lord is going to give us fame. Ha! Family, are you ready for that? All oh, praises to our power, Yahweh Bahashem. Let's read that. Let's read that again. It says here, verse 19. Hmm? It says, Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflicted thee. Hey, remember, it says it's going to take away what? All sorrows, family, no more crying, no more pain. Family, he's wiping out all tears. This word, everything that afflicted us, the Lord is saying that he's going to remove it. He says here, behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. These nations are going to see our glory, family. We've been spread across the four corners of the world. We are going to find Israelites among all these nations. The Lord is saying he is going to give us fame among these nations. They're going to see our glory, family. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, family. All oh, praises to our power, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rukah Kodash. Let's finish here. Baruch 5, verse 6. It says, For they departed from thee on foot. Listen to this. For they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies. Amen. But the Most High bringeth them unto thee, exalted with glory as children of the kingdom. Boom! Family, you hear that? When we went and served this nation, family, they drag us into those ships. Eh? All the captivity. Eh? Leaving Egypt. Egypt was harsh. And then Moses came, delivered us, gave us the statutes and the laws and family. And boom, we, we couldn't keep them. And then from there it was Babylonian, the Syrian. Sorry, the Syria, Babylon, and then the Medes, Persia. Find we've been in every captivity, from the Medes, Persia to the Greek uh, captivity, and then the Romans, eh? the Roman captivity, the slave trade, the, the transatlantic slave trade. Family, but here the Lord is saying, let's go back and read it. Baruch, Baruch 5 verse 6, For they departed from thee on foot, and were led away of their enemies. Hmm? All these nations are our enemies, family, every single one of them. He says here, but the most high bringeth them unto thee, exalted with glory, and glory as children of the kingdom. Because family, we are going up in those chariots, like the Lord says in the book of uh, Matthew 24, verse 29 down. And, and then family, we're going to come down in those chariots. All these nations are going to see it. This is what the book is saying. 
For they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies. They saw us, family, working their plantation. Yes, being hanged, being raped, eh? being beaten down, family, tortured. But they're going to see us coming in our glory. They're hopefully left. Family, you got to believe it. You got to have the faith to believe it. He said the just shall live by faith. Family, we are about to go home. Verse 7 says, For the Most High have appointed that every high hill and banks of long continuance should be cast down and valleys filled with, uh, sorry, valleys filled up to make even the ground that Israel may go safely in the glory of the Most High. I said, Moreover, even the woods and every sweet smelling tree shall overshadow Israel by the commandment of the Most High. Family, can you picture that? The kingdom is going to be beautiful, family. Can you even, all the planets out there, that family, we don't even know. Because when Yahweh Shai says, I've gone to my father's house to prepare a place for you. And I'll come back and receive you again. Roughly paraphrasing. Family, it says in my father's house, there are many mansions. Are you listening to this family? So we don't even know what is out there. Those planets, we could have homes on these planets, family. This is what is coming for the elect. Okay, our imagination can go so far, but family, we know that whatever the Lord is preparing for us, it's going to weigh, it's going to outdo our imagination. And that's what is coming. Verse 9 says, For the Most High shall lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory, with the mercy and the righteousness that cometh from him. This is what the Lord is about to do for us, family. That's why the Lord says, Speak calmly. Calmly to Israel. Your warfare is accomplished. It's over. It's over. The family, let's go to the book. Family, I just wanted just a quick exhortation. It was just in my spirit and I wanted to get it out. Uh, let's go to the book of Revelation. Revelation 21. Let's read it. Family, Revelation 21. Let's pick it up verse 1. It says here, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Hmm? that's our kingdom family that's what apostle John saw John the revelator family this is what the angel revealed to him it says here and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven which is this planet this is Esau's heaven that's right remember Job 9.24 the earth was given into the hands of the wicked this is their rulership this is their heaven our heaven is coming right after his heaven goes down it says here and the first earth will pass away. This is Esau's kingdom. And there was no more sea. That's him. All these nations are not going to rule anymore. The sea represents the people, family. It says here, And I, John, saw the holy city. Hmm? The family, picture this. The holy city, the new Jerusalem. It says, And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepare as a bride adorned for her husband, family. Those, the new Jerusalem is us coming down in those chariots, family. The chariots coming and the world, the rest of those who remain are going to look up. They're going to say, you got to be kidding me. Yes, family. The same so-called, the same niggas. Yes, that's the name that they gave us. The spook, yes. The savages, yes. The downtrodden, yes. Wow, these are the children of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the New Jerusalem. Family, that is what is coming. That is what is coming. And I, John, saw the holy city, the New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepare as a bride adorned for her husband. We are the bride, Yahweh Shai is the groom. Family, the marriage supper. The Lord is going to come. He's going to beam us up. First, he's going to give his angel uh, direction. They're going to go around the four corners, get us into the ship, and then family, we're going to go somewhere. And then we're going to come down in our glory, family. Yes, this is how, family, this is beautiful. This is it, family. He says here, and I heard a great voice out of heaven, verse 3, saying, behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. That's right. We ain't going to have no 
at uh, what is it called altar? No, no, no. Because Yahweh is going to be living among us. The tabernacle, the Lord's spirit, is with men. These people are trying to build what the third temple. He said in, in the Middle East, somewhere in the Middle East. The family, the, the Lord is not dealing with these people, man. They are lost. The Christianity is family. It, 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 they, they, are, they are finished. The plantation Christianity. Yes. The white supremacy family, they are, it is over for them. We know the tabernacle. That's why every single man out there, the elect family, that's all the precious stones that the Lord is building. That's the tabernacle family. The elect, the 140,000. That's right. I mentioned Revelation 14 and Revelation 7. 12,000 from each tribe. That's the building. That's the Lord's building. That's right. It's not a physical building that they're going to build and then there will be Antichrist and this is going to come and it's going to deceive many people. No, 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 no. Family, these people, are, I don't know what they are on, but they, they are gone. They are through. The Lord is not dealing with the church. The tabernacle are the men. That's right. And the Lord is going to dwell in us. He's given us new bodies, family. Every single person. They elect women. They elect men. The children, family, they're all receiving a new body. That's right. And the laws and the statutes pursuant to Jeremiah 31, 1, 31, 31. The laws and the statutes are going to be in our heart. And that's the new covenant. The old covenant is done away with. But it's Yahweh Shai coming. When we are changed. The book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 21 tells us. And the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 51 down tells us. We are going to be changed. That's right, we are going to be changed. We can't go near the king in this wicked body, this wicked flesh. No, we all have to be changed. The new bodies, family. Let's read it. It says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Revelation 21 3, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, our new body, family, new spirit. And he will dwell with them. Are you listening to this? He will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. Are you listening to this? This is what is coming. We are going to be split. Family, the Lord is about to glorify us. Our family above all these nations. We are finally going to be the head. And that's what we're looking forward to. The head, family. The head, the head, the head. Never the tail again. And our kingdom is everlasting kingdom. A new body and family. We are going to live forever. And that's what we're looking forward to. Lord willing. And it says, And, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Family, that should excite you. Hmm? So whatever condition that we are going through right now, it's only temporary, family. All tears gone, death gone, pain gone. And you're going to live forever? That's the good news. That's the good news. Not whatever these devils Esau is trying to sell you. Pursuing to Revelation 13, 16. Family, you haven't come this far to drop the baton. No, 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 no. You haven't come this far to drop the baton. This is what is coming for you. You have to believe it. They says the just shall live by faith. He says here, let's go back again. Let's repeat that. Repetition is good, family. Revelation 21 verse 4. And the most high shall wipe away all tears. Eh? Sometimes you get up, you're, you know, you look around you like, man, I got to go to work again. I got to do this again. You probably had maybe two, three hours of sleep. You're tired. Your joint, everything hurts. Eh? You, you, there are co-workers that you don't want to see. You know, you're just there for a paycheck. Eh? You get to the grocery store, the something that the food that you were paying $2 for now is $5. Now you're thinking, man, 
if this thing goes up, how, if this continues to go up, how am I going to pay my rent? Family, the Lord is about to take all that away. So about to take all that away. But you got to have the faith to believe that your king is coming. You got to have faith, family. He says, the just shall live by faith. He says, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Hmm? There shall be no more death, family. That's the everlasting body, the tabernacle. The new tabernacle, family, the everlasting body. And the new heart, we're going to be changed. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? It said, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Family, you're going to fly, family. The spirit, you're going to have a spiritual family. Spiritual body, you, only the Lord knows what we're going to be able to do with those bodies, family. That's what we're looking forward to. Verse 5, it says, And he that sat upon the throne said, This is Yahweh. Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Family, it is going to happen. It is going to happen. So again, family, I wanted this thing to be short. Your warfare is accomplished. Eh? Your warfare is accomplished. It says here. No, that's not Psalm. Isaiah. Isaiah 41. Again, it says, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says your power. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, the elect. This is about the elect, family. This is all about the elect. And cry unto her, tell her, preach, prophesy unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, your sins are forgiven. For she have received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Family. That's what happened to us. But the Lord again is about to glorify us. This is not a time to have weak knees. This is the time to look forward to what is coming for you. You got to trust and have faith that your king is coming. Yahweh Shah is coming. So family, I will leave it there. Yes, I was uh, meditating on Baruch all day yesterday. And um, I just, uh, you know, I just wanted to share that with you. Yeah, this is what comforts us, family. This is what comforts us, Baruch 5. It's a beautiful uh, book. It's only five chapters. And family, this is where we find our peace. Through these precepts. That's right. We have everything, family. This is what's going to prepare us for the time that is coming. Pursuing to Isaiah 30 verse 6. Am I right? Isaiah 30 verse 6. It says wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of the time. I want to make sure that I'm quoting it right. Isaiah 30 verse is it 6. Am I wrong here? Isaiah 30. Is it verse 7 then? Oh. Isaiah 33, is it 33, 6? Wow, I haven't gone there in a while. Yeah, there's Isaiah 33, verse 6. My apologies. Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times and strength of our salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Family, this was going to keep us. So when everybody's losing their mind out there, you are calm. Eh? You are calm as cucumber. Family, because you know what is coming. You know why everything is happening. You know that this has to happen for the king to come. That's why it tells you don't make haste in the time of trouble. Trust in the Lord and he will deliver us. So family, I will leave it there. I hope you are edified. All praises, honor and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekha Kodash. All praises, honor and glory to our power, Yahweh. 
Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakodash, all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakodash, Shalom, beloved. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I hope you edify.